The Philippines is one of the world's most biodiverse and fascinating countries, but it's also host to a great number of endangered species. This group of more than 7,000 small islands may harbor the greatest concentration of unique species per unit area in the world. Approximately 33% of its plants, 75% of its amphibians, 70% of its reptiles, and 44% of its birds can be found only on the Philippine archipelago. In recent decades so many animals in the Philippines have been listed as endangered species. These animals are threatened by so many factors both natural and man-made and their populations keep on declining. The causes of endangered species in the Philippines are habitat loss, environmental pollution, water pollution, poaching, disease outbreaks, human encroachment, climate change, and excessive hunting by humans with the use of lethal weapons. In this video we list some of the Philippines' most endangered species and the reasons why they are endangered. Welcome to Innovatronics TV and we're here to show you the list of Most Endangered Species in the Philippines Philippine Crocodile The Philippine Crocodile is one of the critically endangered species in the Philippines, the Philippine Crocodile is smaller compared to other crocodiles and they mostly feed on snails although sometimes an unlucky human gets into their daily diet. They are also known as the Mindoro Crocodile, the scientific name of this crocodile is Crocodilus mindorensis and the common name for it is, Freshwater Crocodile. They are related to saltwater crocodiles. In the breeding season, the female make nests and lay in them between 30 to 50 which takes between 65 to 85 days to hatch, while both males and females guard the eggs, with an average lifespan of 70 to 80 years, despite this they are still among the most endangered species in the Philippines. The reasons why they are endangered are use of dynamite in fishing, habitual hunting by humans, habitat loss, and illegal wildlife trading. Philippine Eagle The Philippine Eagle is an animal that is endemic to the Philippines and it is one of the critically endangered species in the Philippines. These giant prey birds have creamy white under and crown-like, thick, long feathers. According to the Philippine Eagle Foundation, the number of these kingly animals remaining in the wild will need 4,000 to 11,000 hectares of land to survive depending on the number of prey in the area, this, coupled with human activities makes it hard for these animals to survive. The reasons why they are endangered are uncontrolled hunting by humans, trafficking, lack of prey to feed on due to excessive hunting by humans, and loss habitat. Temoral. The tamarau is a species of buffalo with unique features that lives only in the Philippines and it is one of the endangered species in the Philippines. This buffalo has a sturdy look with its shiny black hair, horns facing backward, barely taller than a three-year-old kid but with a dangerous temper, and easily launches an attack at any intruder. In the 1900s the population of tamarau used to be at about 10,000 before the rinderpest outbreak in the 1930s which tremendously affected their population, Currently, there are a few hundred of them as they join the list of critically endangered animals in the Philippines on their way to extinction. The reasons why they are endangered are the rinderpest outbreak of the 1930s, introduction of sophisticated and modern weapons in hunting, poaching, and loss of habitat. Philippine Spotted Deer The Philippine spotted deers are among the most endangered species in the Philippines and their population keeps on declining as nothing is being done to protect them. They are popularly used for hunting sports and bush meat as the meat is highly prized in the area. They are colored brown and black with creamy spots all over their backs with slight physical and anatomical differences from other species of deer. The reasons why they are endangered are hunting, loss of habitat to agricultural, commercial, and residential developments. Philippine Tarsia Tarsias are the world's second smallest primates. These animals were killed, sold, and kept as pets in large numbers before the establishment of Proclamation No. 1030 which declared them specially protected faunal species on 23 June 1997. This proclamation was made by Philippines' former President Fidel V. Ramos and he also created the Tarsia Sanctuary for their protection and these actions kept them off the list of critically endangered species in the Philippines. The reasons why they are endangered are they were hunted by humans for meat, trafficking, they were used as pets and thereby got exposed to non-conducive environments and died, loss of habitat. Philippine Sea Turtles 
Sea turtles in the Philippines, it is interesting to know that out of the seven species of sea turtle in the world, five are found in the Philippines and they are the green turtle, loggerhead turtle, leatherback turtle, olive ridley turtle, and hawksbill sea turtle. The population of all these species of turtle has been in the decline in the past decade mainly due to man-made factors. The reasons why they are endangered are green turtle is over-exploitation of the eggs, pollution of waters, capture of the males and juveniles in feeding areas, accidental catches by fishermen, human consumption, and development in coastal areas. Philippine Wild Pig There are four species of wild pig, all of which are endemic to the Philippines, all of them are either listed among the endangered or critically endangered species in the Philippines. They are Palawan Bearded Pig, Visayan Warty, Oliver's Warty Pig, and Philippines Warty Pig. All of them are locally known as Baboy Daimo and are all on the list of endangered species in the Philippines because they are extensively hunted by the locals for their meat and as we know pork is exceptionally delicious to the taste buds. These pigs have very thick manes that go from their heads, over their backs, and down to their tails and have unusually big snouts and they move together in small herds. The reasons why they are endangered are intensive hunting by humans for meat and loss of habitat. Balabac Mouse Deer The Balabac or Philippine Mouse Deer has been a significant decrease in their population in the recent decades. The Philippine Mouse Deer is a small nocturnal ruminant, it has a head and body that resembles that of a mouse but legs that resemble that of goats or sheep. It is important to know that these animals are not deers at all but got their name because of their looks, they possess no horns at all, the Balabac mouse deer or philanduk have dark brown color with white stripes at some part of their body like the throats. The reasons why they are endangered are they are hunted by men for their meat, and loss of habitat to agricultural, commercial, and residential developments. Irrawaddy Dolphin the Irrawaddy dolphin is a species of dolphin that belongs to the family of oceanic dolphins and is on the list of critically endangered species in the Philippines. They look like the white whales, belugas, but are more closely related to the killer whales, orca. They are found in coastal areas of the Philippines, Bangladesh, Laos, Vietnam, Myanmar, Cambodia, Thailand, Indonesia, and India. The reasons why they are endangered are excessive fishing by humans, Irrawaddy dolphins are threatened by habitat degradation and destruction due to pollution by humans, climate change and accidental catch in fishing nets. Philippine Naked-Backed Fruit Bat The Philippine Naked-Backed Fruit Bat, its population has been heavily declining in recent decades, they are the largest known cave-dwelling bats in the Philippines. As early as 1970 these bats were declared extinct but in 2008 the IUCN confirmed the sighting of specimens of them and they were put on the list of critically endangered animals in the Philippines. Reasons why Philippine naked-backed fruit bat is endangered are deforestation is the main reason why excessive hunting by humans for meat and habitat destruction and degradation. And those are the endangered species in the Philippines. If you want to know the ways to save endangered species, like for part 2. Comment down below if you know other Philippine endangered species. If you enjoy watching this video please click the like button and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of amazing topics to share with you. Thank you for watching.